We're talking Illinois property taxes, and I have a special guest, Representative Mark Batnick, on this edition of the Morrison Report. Stay tuned. Hello, this is Tom Morrison. Welcome to another edition of the Morrison Report. I have a special guest, a friend and ally, Representative Mark Batnick. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Mark is from the Plainfield area. And uh, you gave a really excellent speech on the House floor this week talking about Illinois property taxes. Tell us what you talked about. Well, everybody says, hey, I don't want to pay a 1% property tax. And to be a little bit more descriptive, the Chicago Fed came out with a solution to the pension crisis. Well, I don't think it's a solution, but they called it a solution that the way to solve the pension crisis is for the next 30 years to add a 1% property tax, not to the assessed value, but to the market value of every home. So a $250,000 a home would have uh, an additional $2,500 in property taxes attached to that home. That was their solution. So I wanted to quantify that in terms of, in terms of what it meant. If, if you were to look at today's mortgage rates and you were to look at your total payment, so between your property taxes and, and your yeah. mortgage, a $250,000 home would have to drop $37,000 in value, about 15%, to have the exact same overall payment. Yeah. And essentially that's what the market's gonna do. The market adjusts when, when costs go down, you know, values go up, and high property taxes, we've seen it, especially in the south suburbs where I grew up and saw firsthand, high property taxes, you know, they make prices go down. And yeah. the Fed actually admits that prices would go down quickly, which is, which is absurd that they, and they somehow claim that prices going down would make houses affordable for people moving from other states. But the problem is, is if you still have to pay the high property tax bill, your, your payment's the same, so your, your house right. isn't affordable. Yeah. The other thing I added was, when, at least when you're making a big mortgage payment, you're building equity. You don't build any equity when you're paying, paying a big property tax. So the more that your bill that's towards your mortgage and less that's towards property taxes, the more wealth you're building. Yeah. And property taxes are extremely regressive. They're, uh, they're unfair to the seniors, they're unfair to the poor, uh, they're unfair to the unemployed. You, you know, people go have ups and downs in their lives and right. you pay that property tax bill no matter what. You know, other taxes, and when you're doing well, you might buy a nicer car and you pay more sales taxes. It doesn't work that way with property taxes. Yeah, you're basically, no matter what your, your financial status is, you're renting your home essentially from the government. And Yep. Yeah, and, and, and I've seen, I've actually seen situations where you say you're renting your home. Sadly, I know people in the south suburbs where I grew up where the, the property taxes got so high that no matter how much they drop the price of their, of their business property, yeah. they couldn't sell it. And there's, a, there's actually a location where somebody said, okay, I'm just not going to pay property taxes for two years. And then once the county comes to get the property, they can have it because I've dropped it yeah. below the price of a couple years worth of property taxes. And what do we get then? We're actually, you know, we're, we're destroying values. We're destroying communities. We're destroying neighborhoods. We're destroying, destroying people's wealth. I mean, it's a horrific idea. I, I, yeah. I, I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked that they were actually paid economists with master's degree getting government money yeah. for that sort of work. Well, we, we were trying to fight for reining in the costs that actually drive up those taxes. And, and Mark is constantly on the floor. He's an idea factory. He's a very vocal about you know, fighting to save our state, fighting to save, save our homes, fighting to save our businesses. We want to stay in Illinois. We, we all know people who've chosen to leave Illinois or have been forced to leave Illinois. Um, we've got to rein in our costs. Uh, before we go back to the taxpayer and say, pay more, pay more. And when you can't pay enough, we're going to hold you up by your ankles and shake the money out of you. I mean, that's essentially what's happening. And of course, as you as you all know, property taxes in Illinois are among the highest in the country. We're, we rival New Jersey, you know, which is not a contest we want to be in. So anyway, with that, thanks, Mark, for joining us uh, today. Thanks for having me on. I always love being on the Morrison Report. Yep. All right. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.